Hey everyone, it's Keith, and today I'm going to walk through a brand new piece of software called Impulsely. Uh, what Impulsely is, is a e-com funnel builder for Shopify. Now, it's not a Shopify app, so it will not be in the App Store. You do not install it on your Shopify store. It is a standalone SaaS product, okay? So you will then connect to your stores and be able to pull in all products, descriptions, pricing, and so forth to build out your funnels. Now, those funnels also uh, pr um, provide one-click upsells, okay? So you can, I'm gonna show you how to build out, um, you know, kind of a basic funnel uh, in, this, in this example, and uh, we'll kind of show you how that works, okay? So first, I'm just gonna quickly kind of go through a, a few of the basic settings here in the general um, overall global settings. Um, so you kind of have a general area, preview domains, uh, Google Analytics ID, Facebook pixels, you have fonts, uh, many different fonts that you can choose from. Um, as you'll see, there's tons of different ones that you can choose and set them at a global level. Uh, connect your Shopify stores. Uh, you'll set up taxes here, and I'll show you how that uh, relates to the actual pages you're gonna build, uh, as well as shipping. Now they offer shipping you can set for a per item, per order, uh, or based on location. Okay, so you'll set up those uh, in that area. The payment processor that's used here is Stripe, so you'll need a Stripe account, so you'll connect that to uh, Impulsely. And then we have domains. Now, how this works is, as you'll see, this is a, a test store that, that I have. Uh, you can set up any kind of a, uh, of a domain. So, for instance, this one here, I'm just gonna go ahead and edit. You'll see I have this set as my primary domain. So this is the one that, it, that I'm gonna use, um, you know, primarily for all of my funnel pages. Now, you automatically will be getting uh, an assigned an SSL, so all these pages will be secured. Um, and as soon as that SSL is installed and active and ready to go, you'll get instructions here how you can set up a CNAME um, for it, so you can basically have you know have it go to your own domain and not just drone you know something like this store name dot dot com. Okay, so you'll have that set up uh, as well for you. All right, so let's go ahead and build some funnels here. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on funnels and I'm gonna create a new one and I'm just gonna call this demo. I'm gonna add that funnel. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna take me right into this, uh, basically your funnel builder view, okay? Now you can delete the funnels right here um, just by hitting the delete. Uh, so just make sure it's something that you for sure wanna do <laughs> before you actually delete. Um, now what we do is you just drag a new node to the builder here uh, and what it'll do is show up right here. <clears throat> now it's going to be empty. Now you're going to notice that there's a start node checkbox. Uh, you need to have one of these set. So we're going to have this be our first uh, our first node, and I'm going to call this, um, you know, just amped one. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and edit. Now we'll come back to that view, and I'll show you how we create uh, upsells and downsells and how we connect them to each other. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and just build out uh, a, a real simple page here. Um, I'll, I'll kind of walk through each of the elements and show you what um, you know what's available here. Now, when you first start a brand new page, you're going to see it's automatically going to start you with what's called sections. Okay, so it's going to start you with three sections. And just think of it like this here: like there's your header, there's your content area, and this would be your footer. Okay, for now, I'm just going to keep this real simple. So I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of the bottom section, and uh, I'm going to keep the content and the header. So let's uh, before we actually get into it, let's take a look at just some of the page settings here. Um, there's some general settings that you can you can mess around with, um, you know, as far as your title, um, your alias for your slugs. If you notice uh, right here, it says amped one, which is the name of my page, uh, but you may not want that to show up in the actual URL. So you can put uh, an alias here and name it really whatever you'd like, and that's what will actually show in the URL bar. Now that's of course if you're not using CNaming. Uh, if you're using CName, then you don't have to worry about it because it's being sent to whatever domain uh, and page you want it to go to. All right, and then there's a variety of other settings here as well. Now we have content width. Now content width is for desktop and it automatically sets some defaults here. Um, it's set to 960 and for mobile is 300. Okay, so that's how wide the content is going to be. All right, now that becomes important here in a minute. Um, there's also what's called breakpoints. 
Now this is set by default uh, and it's suggested to leave this it, this way, but you're free to change it if you want. Uh, the break, mobile breakpoint is 425 pixels. So basically what that means is that is uh, when the view is um, 425 or less, it's gonna go into the mobile view. And I'll show you what that looks like and how you set up your mobile view. Um, but just so you're aware, this is the breakpoint of when that view is gonna basically kick in. Now you can apply some custom CSS, custom JavaScripts. Um, there's some SEO fields that you can set as well. Now here's also where you're gonna, you can clear the page. So if you've built the page out and you're just not happy with it and just wanna start over with a clean slate, uh, you can clear it. Um, just be aware that when you do it, you can't undo it. Um, and you can also delete the page uh, and same goes for that. If you delete it, it's gone. Okay, but here's where you can you can do those things as well. So let's go ahead and just look take a look at some of the elements we have. Uh, we have buttons, countdown timers, headings, HTML blocks, which work real well for um, uh, autoresponder forms. Um, we've got image, uh, a progress bar, which I think is really more of a scarcity bar. It would show things like um, you know there's five out of a hundred products left. Uh, so it's more of a scarcity bar. Um, rectangles, rich text, sections, uh, which we've just I showed you here. And then we get into the actual Shopify blocks, okay? So I'll show you how these uh, four blocks work here in just a second, and we also have video. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get my heading, and I'm gonna keep this real simple, guys. So uh, I'm just gonna drag in my an image here, uh, basically for a logo. Now you'll notice there's a little media area here and that you can divide and create new categories. These are all categories here, so you can keep your media um, somewhat organized. You can also get to this by the media button over here on the left. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick my logo and I'm gonna select that. All right, so there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and just resize that down a little bit and we'll line it up, let's just say right here, okay. Now, before I go actually any further, there is one other thing I wanted to show you. Now, when you click on any of these elements, you're gonna see that here is where all of the settings for those particular elements will appear, okay? So I'm gonna have uh, actually hop back over into the section. I'm gonna select that section, and if you noticed, it changed uh, to get the settings for the section. So there's a few things that you can do here as far as alignment, borders, uh, border colors, and whatnot. Uh, but you can also set a background. Okay, you can set a background color, a background image, a bunch of different sizing and positioning settings, as well as parallax. Uh, for this example, I'm just gonna do a background color uh, because I want to demonstrate one thing for you. Um, so I'll choose that for this section here. And then there's the content area. Okay, now remember how I said the width is, is set to a certain amount of pixels, um, which is gonna be locked to that, to that width. But the background area, you might be on a real big viewport, like a big Mac screen or something. So there'll be a lot of extra room there. So this background color that I've just set is basically gonna show uh, the entire background, but the content area, I'm gonna actually set that to white. Okay, and I'm gonna render this out here in just a second uh, and show you what that looks like, but let me just set my other content area here, or, or my other section real quick so I can show you. Okay, now I'm gonna just publish this and you'll see what I mean here. Okay, so there's what I'm talking about. So you see this is the content area, it's white, and here's that gray background that uh, I set. So you can change that content area to be a little skinnier, a little wider, whatever you want it to, want it to do in those settings. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and just kind of get into the meat of things here. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna keep it real simple. Most of you all have seen these types of, of elements before and they're necessary for building out a page, uh, especially a funnel page. But I wanna get uh, specifically into the Shopify stuff here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag, uh, you're gonna see four of them here. There's a Shopify description, a Shopify image, Shopify heading, and a Shopify product options, which are basically your variants, okay? For, for each product. Now I'm gonna drag out the image first. And what you're gonna see is, um, this is how you select your product, okay? So you can basically, it's gonna bring in all of your different um, um, uh, collections that you've set up in Shopify that you can sort by if you choose. Um, if, so for now, I'm just gonna grab, I'm just gonna grab one of these, this one right here, um, that particular product. And then what I'm gonna do is grab the header, which is here. And if you'll notice, it's already selected up here on top. It hasn't selected it, but it's just showing you, hey, this is the product that you're currently working with. Um, so you can just simply click that, and there it is. And the same thing is gonna go for my options. Okay, so there it is right there. Now if I could certainly just sort through here as well, um, but this is the one I'm using, so that's the one I'm gonna want. Now you're gonna notice this put in um, 
tax and free shipping. Now this is based off the uh, general settings that I had set up for taxes and shipping. So be aware that that is going to get pulled onto this particular block. All right. Now of course you can edit these as far as font size, uh, whether you want it to be H1, H2, so and so forth. You know, so we could we could boost this up a little bit uh, if we wanted to, uh, and, and make those adjustments. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to pull on my description here, and I probably will need a little bit more room. Make that a little bigger. <clears throat> and let's see. Uh, right there. Okay. So this one, yep, there we go. All right, so we're good. All right, so let's just say now um, that... This is my page. Now, of course, this is extremely ugly, and you guys can get crazy. You can get really good with your designs. Um, there's a lot of elements that you can work with uh, in order to make these really nice looking. But for the sake of example, I just wanted to just quickly show you the really uh, the powerful parts of this. Now, there's one other thing I want to show you before I render this out, and that is this button here. Uh, oops, let me select the right one. This confirm purchase. Okay. Um, now, what this is is basically this. Impulsely allows you one click upsells. Okay, so if I attach a, a, an up or a down sell to this, uh, or really an upsell, and I have bought the first product, then what it's going to do is load the next uh, the next page in the funnel. And if I choose to buy that one and I hit buy now, it's a one click upsell, right? So it's going to put that purchase through right away. You don't have to ask for the uh, the credit card information again. If you select this box, confirm purchase, what it's going to do is, is present a little modal that's going to basically confirm with them and say, hey, look, here's what you're buying. Um, it's going to give a little bit of a description and the price, and then there'll be a buy now button for them to actually click so, uh, to purchase. Which So that would basically be like a two-click upsell. So you have the opportunity or the option to do this. Now, on your very first, the first node, the first page, you wouldn't want to confirm it uh, because it's already going to pop up the credit card box for them to enter that information in. So that's pretty much your confirmation there. Uh, and the other thing I didn't have here is, is down here is, is basically where all your variants will list out. In this particular case, I don't have any other variants. It's just the black. But if I had different colors, I would be able to check and, and choose which ones I want, um, which would then show you a nice little drop down box for them to make that, that decision as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to publish this and we'll go take a peek at it. All right. So there it is. And of course, it's not a great looking page, as I've said, uh, but there you go. You can see it. Okay. So we have a no thanks. We have a buy now. So if I were to buy now, there's your credit card information and so forth. Okay. So we've got that. Now what I want to do is I'm going to show you, I'm going to go back into the funnel itself. And let's go ahead and drag a new node down here, and we'll do this as a uh, as a down sell. Okay, so let's just say I say no thanks to that first one. Um, so what I'll do is I'm first going to just set this page up, and I'm just going to call it amped down for now. And we'll go ahead and we will build this page out. Okay, so again, we could put the header, put the footer, do all, uh, anything that we want uh, to do with these things. Uh, I'll get as creative as you want to. Uh, for sake of uh, demonstration, I'm just going to go ahead and pick some elements here and grab a new product. Uh, let's see, let's go with, uh, how about that one? Okay, so I've got that drone there. Uh, I'm going to put the heading in. All right, so as you notice, it's brought my heading in that matches this particular product. Uh, I'm going to put my options in as well, and I'll go ahead and choose that. And for now, I'm just going to leave it just like this, okay? Now, let's go ahead and take a look at one other thing here, which is your thumbnails for your images, okay? So now I have this selected. And what you can see here is all the other thumbnail images that I have. Now I can choose whichever I like, okay? So you can pick them all or just a few of them. Um, I'm just going to go with, let's just say that one and, or actually this one, that one, that's fine. I'm just going to put two of them on there for now. Now you can mess around with the thumb sizes uh, a bit so you can make it look a little bit better. There's also some margins that you can set to make a, give some space between them. So you can just kind of play around with that and see what works best for you. Um, so right now, I think I've got everything uh, set or enough here to at least show you um, how these how this works. So I'm going to publish this page, and let's just go ahead and take a look at it, just make sure. Okay, good to go. All right. 
Now let's go ahead and go back to the actual funnel builder. Now from here, uh, if I want this to show up on the no thank, so when I say no thank you to this product, I want to I want to try to sell them this particular product, and that's all I have to do is drag that little connector right to it. If I wanted it to be on the uh, thank you page, uh, I'm sorry, on the, the purchase uh, upsell, I could then just drag this one over to here and it would happen after purchase. This is where I would go. So as you can see, you can start to build out all this big massive funnel or as many pages as you want uh, and have those uh, you know, go to uh, on the upsells, on the downsells of every single product, all right? So what I wanna do is I'm just gonna test this out. I'm gonna go into this page and I am going to Let's see here, I'm gonna preview the published page. All right. There's my page. Now let's say um, I'm gonna say no thanks to this one. No thanks. And there's my product, that's my downsell. If I were to said, if I would have, would have bought it and had another product in my funnel um, for the upsell, then it's gonna bring me to that. So as you can see, it, it's very simple to build build these things out. Now, there's a couple of, uh, of other features I do wanna show you that make it a, a more handy. So when you first build out like one of these pages and you really like the theme or you like the way that it's laid out, you can uh, also save it to, um, actually, I think it's the other button. Yeah, it is. Uh, you can also save this to as a page theme, okay? So if I save this as a page theme, um, and I can select which one I want, a layout or a theme, and I'm gonna tell you the difference right now, or here in just a second, but I'm gonna save this. Okay, perfect. Theme, amped, there it is. So now, when I create a brand new page, all I needed to do is drag this theme onto it, and it'll give me the exact same theme here, and I can then make edits, right? I can just go in here um, and pick a different product, if that's what I wanna do, um, and just swap things out very quickly, but not mess with the layout, okay? Now, as I said, there's two, I'm sorry, the theme. There's two things here. There's a layout and there's a theme, okay? So the difference there is a theme is essentially your entire page, okay? You've laid out an entire page. It's the theme, it's the whole page, all the elements on it as a whole. A layout, if I saved a layout, a layout may be like a header. Let's just say I have a header up here and then I have some buttons up here, maybe a call to action or something else up in this, in this header and I like this uh, particular this particular um, layout. What I can do is save this as just a layout, okay? So I can save it uh, as a layout, and then when I create a new page, I can then just drag that header right into the header area, drop it, and it's already made for me. Do any edits that you wanna do for it, but you don't have to relay out the entire thing, okay? And that goes for any, you can save as many elements, and um, excuse me, as many layouts and themes as you want to. Um, now, I know that uh, Impulsely is going to, they have a, a monthly template club. Uh, we're gonna be adding, um, I'm not sure exactly how many, probably five to 10 different themes um, per month, which is gonna be very handy. It's gonna make building funnels super, super fast. Um, so, and you can also save your own. So I just wanted to make sure, uh, you know, to, 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 point that, to point that out. Okay, so let's go ahead and just take a look at, as I said, there's mobile, okay? So let's take a look at the mobile option. All right, now you'll notice in mobile, it gets a little a little uh, out of whack, right? Now, this is the one thing I actually kind of like about it, is I have ultimate control. I'm not relying on just the code on the page to uh, align everything correctly. I can rearrange things. I can hide elements that I have on my desktop version of this page versus my mobile version of this page. I can add new elements to my mobile page and not have it show up on, on the desktop page and vice versa. So it's it's very versatile uh, as far as what you can do with these things, okay? So if I drop this here, let's just say, and again, uh, you definitely would wanna spend some more time um, with your layouts uh, and don't follow my, my lead on that. Um, but let's just say I wanted to throw that there. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, maybe move that down a little bit and put my thing here. Okay, so that's basically and probably do a little resizing on this. Uh, let's see here, yeah, maybe something like that. Okay, so now I've got my mobile my mobile uh, area uh, complete here. And actually, I'd probably wanna move that off of there and there. Okay, so now this is the mobile view. So anybody that views this page on mobile is now going to see it in this fashion. And like I said, you can swap things out and it will not affect your um, your desktop version, okay? So, you know, it, it's nice to have that kind of separation between the two. 
So as you can see, uh, it's a powerful fun funnel builder. It's very, very versatile, very flexible. Um, I know the developers uh, and the product owners of this personally, and the plans that they have coming for even more features are phenomenal. Um, it's just going to get better and better. Um, yeah, every product that these guys put out is is quality, quality stuff. So um, as you can see, very powerful. Uh, I would definitely suggest hopping over to the to the to the sales page and getting yourself uh, getting yourself a copy of this. As I mentioned, um, there are a couple of upsells there. I think uh, one of the coolest ones is definitely that template club, um, as well as a couple of others. So go ahead and, and check those out.